everyone. Ever since I was a young child, I knew exactly what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wanted to be a representative of the Lubavitcher Rebbe of blessed memory. The Rebbe was a spiritual leader who inspired and influenced hundreds of thousands of people around the world. He sent representatives all over to the Jewish communities and beyond to help spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Once, a college student came to visit the Rebbe and asked a brave question. What exactly is a Rebbe? The Rebbe answered, a Rebbe is a soul geologist. A soul geologist? What's that? The Rebbe continued, within the earth there lies hidden infinite wealth of resources, fuel, precious metal, metals, gemstones, but you have to know where these resources are. So a geologist will tell you where to dig and how to dig. So too, within each and every human being, there lies a boundless treasure. This treasure is the infinite potential of the soul. And this treasure can remain hidden. It is the job of the soul geologist to help others find their treasure by telling them where to dig and how to dig. And therefore, in 1994, my husband, Rabbi Levi Shemtov, and myself, trying there to represent the Rebbe's incredible work, founded the Friendship Circle, a place that services children and adults who have special needs. We wanted to continue this work to dig, uncover, and say that there is a precious gem within each and every single human being. Over the past 24 years, I have been lucky to watch thousands of miracles happen with those individuals that no one thought they can make a serious contribution to society. I saw them be empowered, rise to the occasion, and show just a glimpse of who they really are. And today, we will share with you a story of a remarkable young woman who just seven months ago surprised everyone around her, including herself. But before you meet Felicia, I want to introduce to you Anthony Marcellini. Hello, everybody. I'm Anthony Marcellini, the Programs and Exhibitions Manager of the Soul Studio. And I'm only a small link in a chain of people who encouraged Felicia to keep going until the right tools could be found. When Felicia was two, her mom could see that she was determined to draw, but crayons kept falling out of her fingers, so her mom taped the crayons to her hands. In middle school, a teacher's aide, Irene, believed that Felicia should participate in art class like the other students. So she attached a paintbrush to her foot, and Felicia painted for the first time. A couple of years ago, the art space Soul Studio opened, and Felicia wanted to come to the studio and continue her passion for making art. When she arrived, she told us that what she really wanted to learn how to do was create a self-portrait. So we said, OK, well, let's figure that out. So we created things like headgears, 
with attachments on them so she could paint with her head. We gave her a paintbrush to hold in her mouth to paint. And we, too, taped paintbrushes to her hands and her feet. But none of this really satisfied Felicia. So we thought, mm, what haven't we tried? How can we play to her strengths? After all, she only really has control over one body part. And there was our answer. You see, Felicia uses a tablet with eye tracking software, which allows her to control a pointer on a computer screen as you would a mouse, but with her eyes. So we downloaded drawing programs, and a staff member, Adam, tested it out to try to see if he could make a drawing using this machine. Adam had been drawing for over 35 years using his hand. But drawing with your eye, there's Felicia drawing, not easy. But Felicia was convinced and determined. She knew she could do this. So we set her up on her first drawing, but we told her it's going to take some practice. Maybe after about two years of really working on this, you might be able to create something that resembles a face. And so after two days, <laughs> Felicia presented us with this. every line drawn using her eye. And in the days, weeks, and months that followed, her skills grew and grew. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present for you Felicia Bowers. Hi, my name is Felicia Bowers. I'm an artist. I also have cerebral palsy. You've seen my art. Now I want to tell you a little bit about what my art means to me. Because I have cerebral palsy, I sometimes feel trapped inside of myself. It's also frustrating that people don't think I'm all there. They don't take the time to get to know me. They don't talk to me. But that was before. Now that I have discovered my art, my soul is able to shine through. I feel that I have no limitations. I am free. People appreciate me for who I am. They talk to me. I even got celebrity spotted the other day at the park by a stranger who had read about my art in the newspaper. Please understand, I am not a more valuable person because of my special talent. I am a valuable person because we all are infinitely valuable. And that infinite value within each of us is the soul. My art has simply given me a way for my soul to shine. My message to you is that we all have infinite potential. We all have an infinite treasure inside of ourselves. So surround yourself with people who believe in you, who see you as more than just a limited body, people who see you as an unlimited soul. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 